I welcome you to this biology paper two representation. Specifically, it is a um, 2022 GCE. Specifically, in this representation, I'm going to answer question one. So, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and click the bell for notification. So, we have uh, the question which is saying, figure one shows different types of uh, specialized cells. So figure one shows different types of uh, specialized cells. So we have uh, one, which is A, then B and C. So now, before I answer this question, let me try to, to explain a little bit on this part here. So this question is coming from uh, cell specialization. So I'm going to define what cell specialization is. So I'm going to say cell specialization is the process by which the cytoplasmic, which is the cytoplasm of the cell, undergoes specific changes in order to carry its function. So I'm saying cell specialization is the process by which a cell undergoes specific changes in its or in their cytoplasmic composition in order to carry its function. So now, during cell division, cells are produced in numbers and they look similar. Now for a cell to call its function, it needs to undergo cell specialization. Okay, so now, there are different types of um, examples of uh, cell specialized or specialized cells from animals and plants. So now, the first question, which is question A, saying, which is Roman numeral one, identify the cells A, B, and C. So now, as for A, I'm going to say A is the motor neuron. A is the motor neuron, or we can say A is the neuron, or nerve cell. A is the motor neuron, or we can say nerve cell, or neuron. So the function of our A is uh, to conduct the electrical impulse from the central nervous system to the effector or to the effectors. Then as for B, B is the root air cell. B is the root air cell. And the root air cell has uh, the elongated outgrowth, which is this part here. So this part creates um, more room for the absorption of water. This part here, which is the elongated outgrowth, provides more room for the absorption of water. Okay. Then we have uh, C, which is uh, the ciliated cell. C is the ciliated cell. C is the ciliated cell. So ciliated cell, their function is uh, to sweep out mucus containing uh, dust particles or pathogens. Okay. Apart from that one, they also uh, move the egg toward the uterus or the fertilized egg, fertilized eggs from the fallopian tube toward the uterus for implantation. Then as for Loma Nimron number two saying, state the part, state the part of the living organism in which the specialized cells B and D, C are normally found. Of course, we know that T B, which is the root air cell, is the plant cell. Specifically, a specialized cell from plant cell. Then as for C, this one here is the stated cell, specifically from animals. A specialized cell from an animal or animals. Yeah. So now they are asking you which part they are located or which part are found, these cells are found. So I'm going to say B, which is the root air cell, is located at the tip of the root. At the tip of the root. They are located at the tip of the root. Then as for C, which is the stated cell, this one here, it is located in the lining of the ovule duct or fallopian tube. So I'm saying C, which is the stated cell, is located in the lining of the fallopian tube or ovule duct. Apart from that one, we can say C is located in the lining of the respiratory tract. 
or nozo cavity. Then the last one which is a B is saying explain the function of each of the cells in figure one. So as for A, I have identified that A is um, the motor neuron. A is the motor neuron. Open bracket, you can say nerve cell or neuron. So the function of the motor neuron is uh, to conduct the electrical impulse from the central nervous system to the effectors. So an effector is just an uh, organ part of the body which responds to stimulus. Example is the gland. So I'm saying an effector is an organ part which responds to stimulus. An example is the gland. Okay, so we have a B, the function of B. Since this one here, it is the root air cell. So the function of the root air cell is that D, it absorbs water and mineral salts from the gland. So I'm going to say absorption of water and mineral salts or ions from the, from the gland. So I'm saying B is the root air cell. Then the function of the root air cell is to absorb water and mineral salts or ions from the gland. Then lastly, which is C. This C here, we have identified that T. C is the ciliated cell. The function of the ciliated cell, let's say, for example, you talk of um, uh, the fallopian tube or the oviduct. We are going to say its function is to move the fertilized egg toward the uterus for implantation for implantation. So its function is to move the fertilized egg toward the uterus for implantation. Apart from that one, you can, so you can also say the function of C is uh, to sweep out mucus containing dust, particles, or pathogens. If you talk of uh, the respiratory tract, so I'm saying the function of a C is to sweep out mucus containing dust particles or pathogens. So that was uh, the last one. Remember to subscribe. See you next time.